Assalamu alaikum. Your Excellencies, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, before we start the proceedings, we would request Raya and Abdullah to recite a few lines from the Holy Quran to pay respect to this holy month. And it will be translated by Raina Abdullah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ya ayyuhan nasu abudu rabbakumu alladhi khalaqakum. ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من الثمرات فأخرج به من الثمرات جزقا لكم فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Translation of Surah Baqarah, Ayah 21 and 22. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. O mankind, worship your Lord who created you and those who came before you. By doing this, you may expect to guard yourself against, against evil. He made the earth a resting place for you, and the sky a canopy. And he sent down water from the sky, and thereby brought forth fruits for your sustenance. So do not then claim that there is any power that could rival God, when you know that he is one. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan and Reina. Your Excellency, Mr. Mohammed Sharaf, Assistant Foreign Minister of the UAE, Excellencies, members of IBPC, businessmen, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and good evening. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome all of you at the Ramadan Suhoor, a wonderful opportunity for the great minds to meet, greet, share great ideas, in line with the spirit of the holy month of Ramadan. Yes, we are all here meeting tonight in the holy month of forgiveness and giving in the middle of the year of giving. This is a month to seek forgiveness, to extend helping hand to those in need and extend invitation to greatness. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate the true spirit of Islam, a religion of peace, sharing and caring. Today, we will hear from His Excellency, Mr. Mohammed Sharaf, Assistant Foreign Minister of the UAE, and try to develop a better understanding of this government's great vision for the future. Let me take this opportunity to also express our deepest appreciation for the government and the people of UAE to extend their kind hospitality to more than two and a half million non-Indian residents who call UAE their home. It is due to the great leadership of the UAE and the enabling environment that helped us to reach greater heights in our profession and business. We are grateful to this great nation. Let's join our hands and to pray for all those fasting all around the world and those peace-loving people all over the world and hope you are all here and we'll create a better and more prosperous world where people of all faiths and cultures will live as one nation. Thank you. Now we would like to formally welcome our guests by presenting bouquets. Now I'd like to invite 
our president, Ms. Bindu Suresh Chetur, and Mr. Janak Punjwani to present the bouquets. Bouquet to His Excellency, Mohammed Shiraf. Thank you, sir. Now I'd like to invite our Vice President of IBPC, Mr. Heyman Jitwani, to present the bouquet to His Excellency, Excellency Ahmed bin Sulaim, Executive Chairman, DMCC. <laughs> now I'd like to invite Mr. James Matthew, our Administrative Board Member, to present the bouquet to His Excellency Mr. Osman Musa Jarar, Ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti to UAE. <laughs> now I'd like to welcome Ms. Monica Agarwal, Administrative Board Member, to present a bouquet to Mr. Said Al Najjar, Dubai Chamber. I'd like to invite Mr. Nimesh Makwana, Administrative Board Member, to present a bouquet to Dr. Muhammad Abdul Hakim Al Azari Al Kandi. <laughs> now I'd like to welcome our President, Ms. Bindu Chetur, President of IBPC, to give a welcome address. Thank you. Our chief guest of the evening, His Excellency Mohammed Sharaf, dignitaries, distinguished guests, my dear members of Indian Business and Professional Council, ladies and gentlemen, with immense pleasure and great honor, I welcome you all today for this evening, Suhoor and speak about Expo 2020 and also Vision 2021. Very good evening. Namaskar. Assalamu alaikum. My dear members of Indian Business and Professional Council, on behalf of the Administrative Board, I welcome you all today for this very special function. Let me share with you a small note which I read very recently. Our life is like a journey in a vehicle. It's a long journey. It is like the alignment, the pressure, and also the balance between the four wheels are very important. The first wheel represents the personal life. We should all give special attention for our health, and also concentrate on our hobbies and interests. Second is the family. We should not only provide them the best, but also devote our time also for that. And the third is the professional, and the fourth is the social. Above all, there is a very important wheel which decides the direction and destination of our life. And this is the steering wheel. This is the spiritual life. What we are all today as an individual is our values, culture, upbringing, and also which we have to give to our next generation. I have been in Dubai for so many years. And this month, the Holy Ramadan, is very, very important for me because this is a month where we are very close to Almighty. Most of the time is spent for observing fasting and also prayers, and at the same time, doing great humanitarian works. So this time is very important, since this, during this holy month, we all are devoting our best time and all the time remembering God Almighty. My dear members, it is very important to note that during this holy month, 
we are all not only that we have to concentrate on our own reaching great heights also we have to hold the hands those who are left behind us not only that to say thanks for our privileges what we have but also to help the underprivileged this is about self discipline and also keeping our mind fixed in god today we have very great honor going to listen about expo 2020 and also the vision 2021 which lays the road map according to our great visionary leader the ruler of dubai his excellency sheikh maktoum bin rashid al maktoum my dear friends ladies and gentlemen dignitaries honorable guests who else will be the better than his excellency mohammed sharaf to give to us the inputs and also the opportunities and the prospects which we look to hear from him about 2020 and also vision 2021 once again i take this opportunity to welcome you all and to hear from his excellency the more and also a very pleasant evening to all of you thank you Thank you, Madam President. Now I'd like to welcome uh, very, very important di diplomats from various other countries who are present here. And also I'd like to welcome a uh, diplomat from our Indian consulate. Now I'd like to um, request Mr. G.R. Mehta, Administrative Board Member, to present a bouquet to His Excellency Mr. Said Al Mutawa, CEO, MBM Holdings. Thank you, sir. Now I'd like to invite our Vice President, Mr. Hemant Jitwani, to formally introduce our today's chief guest. Your Excellency, <coughs> Mr. Mohammad Sharaf, Assistant Foreign, Foreign Finance Minister, uh, Assistant Foreign Minister for Economic and Trade Affairs, dignitaries, IVPC colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and Ramadan Mubarak. It is indeed my great pleasure and Almighty's blessings that during the holy month of Ramadan, we are holding this Suhu dinner for our members. For this special event, we are most privileged to have with us today His Excellency Mohammad Sharaf, the UAE Assistant Foreign Minister of Economic and Trade Affairs at the UAE Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International. 